of all the fun summertime traditions here on Delmarva, nothing, and I mean nothing, beats the steamed crab feast with family and friends. And that is why recent news of blue crab numbers being down got so much attention. It even raised the prospect of some future summers without those scrumptious crustaceans. So the question you and I are asking is what's the problem? Is it over harvesting? Is it invasive species trouble? Is it pollution? Well, guess what? Jim Duffy of Secrets of the Eastern Shore fame well, he doesn't necessarily have the answer for you, but <laughs> the discussion brought something back to his mind uh, from, what, decades ago, I guess? Decades when, ago. Decades. Well, decades the same, ago. The same kind of problem. Yeah. So, you know, I, I uh, come on here, and a lot of times I, I, I talk about days in the past when somebody did something maybe a little bit dumb or ridiculous or made a fool of themselves. Okay. I am here today to talk about the time that I did something dumb Ooh. and ridiculous so you're and made a side. fool of myself. Okay. All right, so we're in the uh, late 1990s, and um, the crab population is in trouble. At the time, I am a big city boy living in Baltimore, have never lived on Delmarva yet, um, and I am involved in studying ecology and the environment. And, and right around this time, I got the opportunity for the first time in my life to meet a waterman. A magazine up in Baltimore hired me um, to do a little piece about going to Tillman Island. Right. And in the process of doing that, I got to go out with Captain Wade Murphy on the oldest skipjack of them all. Oh the my. Rebecca T. Rua. Yeah. Have you ever met Captain Murphy? Yes, I have. Yeah. 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 So he takes he takes this city boy out and he's pulling up an oyster and putting hot sauce on it. And it's great. But he's in a very cantankerous mood. He's really, really upset. And he's going on and on about these things called ghost pots. Hmm. And they are like discarded or, or lost. whatever, lost pots that yeah. are sitting on the bottom yeah. of the bay and its rivers. So meanwhile, City Boy here is in the environmental world and studying everything. I've never heard of this thing. And this is where I made a fool of myself. Fortunately, I didn't say it out loud, but I thought in my head, what is this crazy water <laughs> talking about? Oh, no. <laughs> We're in the late 1990s, right around 2000. Okay. This is what happens. Sorry, I need a cheat sheet. Okay, okay. This is what happens in the Bay Journal in the years that follow. 2006, they check in and they don't check out. Abandoned ghost crab pots haunt Bay's bottom, luring creatures to their doom. 2013, ghost pots estimated to kill 1.25 million blue crabs. 2016, derelict pots killing 3.3 million crabs annually in the base. It goes on and on. There's more than that. And no one was writing about this before. I'm out there with his cantankerous self going on. And you know, sometimes it seems it could be poultry growers or, or, or it could be watermen. Sometimes it seems like the environmental community and the uh, waterman community right. or the farming community, they're kind of at odds mm -hmm. and they're, and they're kind of like fighting with each other. And as the, the big city boy I was back then, I was only familiar with the one kind of science side of the argument. And so I come down here and I, and I kind of learned it. The generations, the lifetime on the water, there's like great wisdom and insight Not only that did I he... didn't know until I made a fool of myself mm -hmm. with Not Captain did... Wade Murphy. Not mm. only did he know what he was talking about. Oh my God. And he's not crazy. He's not crazy. <laughs> I was the crazy one. You're the crazy one. Exactly. <laughs> Secrets of the Eastern Shore is Jim Duffy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and we, it's goodness. okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's we still okay. want you to come back. You, right. Yeah, okay. definitely. <laughs>